Well, welcome. Uh, and then actually, uh, I'm Al Ma, the park director, and I want to welcome all of you to, to really kind of celebrate probably one of the more significant, I think probably the most significant event that's happened in the, to the park system in, that I know of. And I think if you talk to some of the old, old long-time park advocates, probably the biggest uh, day in history. And I want to thank the mayor, uh, as one of our elected officials, and our city council representatives here, but all the city council. I see Councilman Benders here, Councilman Hines, Councilman Paddock, and Councilman Smith for, uh, for ensuring that the park system is going to be taken care of long after we're probably all here. It's going to be taken care of forever, and that's a responsibility for the community. I think in any polling, any survey we ever do, one thing that people, the community wants is for us basically to take care of what we have. And this is an opportunity to respond to that. And, and in every effort we always hear and every comment we hear from the citizens, they're willing to help out on that. So we're going to do it. And uh, this administration, this city council has made it possible through the help, obviously, of our citizens. Well, by getting $3 million a year, it's gonna, we're not going to, we'll be able to pay as you go for a change. We won't have to be borrowing. I'll let the mayor talk about that in a little bit. But in any event, I'm just up here really to express the thanks on behalf of the Parks Department and the park advocates throughout this community, and I thank the citizens of this community for uh, ensuring that as we go forward, we're going to go forward and maintain the treasure that we all love, which is our park system. We have $3 million already earmarked specifically for projects for the next five years. So it's not like we're just pulling things out of the air. These are specific specific proje uh, projects that we've identified that need to main be maintained or upgraded or replaced, and this is going to help us get that done. And we'll still operate under a model of trying to match funds. This gives us the opportunity to leverage funds. One thing the Parks Department has is the ability at times to get some matching funds for projects. And some of the projects we have listed over here for 2014, we already have some money available through private funds. But with that, I'm going to turn it over to... Uh, one of our biggest, if not our biggest supporter, the Honorable Mayor Tom Henry. Thanks, Al. Thanks, Al. You know, it's really hard to follow Al sometimes. He's so eloquent and he's so detail-oriented that there's nothing left for me to say. <laughs> Except this is truly a golden day in the history of Fort Wayne because Al's absolutely correct. Historically, we've had to borrow money, sometimes year after year, to meet some of the needs and some of the wants and some of the desires of our citizens as it pertains to our park system. We have an award-winning park system, there's no question about that, but in order to keep it going, we've had to borrow money. Now we don't have to do that anymore. Thanks to our city council, thanks to the champion teams, thanks to, to uh, the fiscal policy committee, and to a number of other people, we've been able to put together a package where $3 million a year will be flowing into our park system. And as Al said, in many cases, we're going for matching monies with the private sector, and in some cases, perhaps with the state and federal government, depending on what the project is. But what you see behind me, uh, to my right, are I think 12 to 14 projects that will happen in 2014 that would not have happened had it not been for this money. Had it not been for this money, these projects wouldn't have happened. To the left of that chart are things that we offer in our park system that, in many cases, people take for granted. Look at that list. Everything from riverfront development to, to our pavilions, to our golf courses, to the botanical gardens, and I can go on and on. All of these things need to have the constant support of our citizens and our community. And now, thanks to the action taken by our city council and by others, we're now going to have a system that will go on for quite some time. You talk about a legacy. To be able to support the dozens of parks that we have in our city and to be able to offer even more speaks volumes for our legislative branch and for our community in general. So thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Al. Thanks to my staff for hanging be and staying behind this and keep pushing us forward. Uh, there's a lot of people to be thanked. There's no question about that. But we're now positioned to move into the future. So thank you very much. Thank you, Al. If there are any questions, I'm sure that uh, uh, we'll be glad to field any.
or we'll, I'm sure we'll be ready for uh, uh, private interviews as well. And again, we have some city councilmen over here who are who are being very modest today. Uh, none of them want to come forward and say anything uh, at, in, uh, in front of the group, but I'm sure they'll be available as well. Thank you.